Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review for Toy Story 4. So I have had to put off filming this review for a few hours because I saw the movie and then right after I got home the Stranger Things season 3 trailer dropped, the final trailer for the season, and I had to cover that obviously. So that's why this is probably coming out a little bit later. Now, on to Toy Story 4. I have a lot of thoughts about this movie because I did not want it to be made at first. I'm sure a lot of people felt that way. I thought they wrapped it all up really nicely with Toy Story 3, and so I was nervous about Toy Story 4 and what they'd be doing with it. I didn't like the posters they released, I didn't like the trailers they released, and I was just very, very nervous. My mom really wanted to see it, and I'm the designated movie person in the family, so I was like, yeah. I'll go see it and obviously I'm not going to pass up seeing a Toy Story movie or a Pixar movie so I went still very nervous and then I'm pleased to say that I actually really enjoyed it and I did cry at the end um, and this video has no spoilers in it so I won't go into too much detail about the things that made me cry obviously but I do think that if they had to make a fourth Toy Story movie and they had to do another one to wrap up the story even more, even if I felt like it didn't need to be wrapped up more. I feel like this was a beautiful way to do it, and if they had to make another movie, I'm glad they made the one they did. So, should you guys go see this in theaters? I think it's not a movie, obviously, that you have to see in theaters, but it's a really good movie, and it's a fun, I don't know, it's a fun movie to watch. So I recommend going to see it. I thought the voice cast in particular and the new characters they added were really enjoyable and uh, enthusiastic, and it was fun to kind of see what they brought to the story. Uh, because of all the new characters they added, there was less focus on some of the more iconic classic characters from the originals. At the same, I don't know, like, it... It worked. The story worked. It was definitely more heavy on Woody and Bo Peep than it was, uh, and like the newer characters like Forky and then some of the ones they introduce um, that are new, obviously, uh, then they do spend time with, like they don't spend that much time with like Slinky Dog or T-Rex or Potato Heads or Jesse or any, like they don't spend that much time with them. But I think that that was just the way they had to tell the story that they told and it was a good story it was very entertaining and predictable but still really good and i don't know i i highly recommend that you guys watch this movie i think it was i think you're really missing something if you if you like the toy story movies you can't not watch this one like just like you can't not watch the second one or the first one or the third one you need to watch this one if you want the whole story and especially Woody's full story, and I think this one was very important uh, regarding Woody's character. These movies have been going on for so long. The first one came out before I was even born, and I grew up watching them, obviously, and now I have... I'm about to turn 20, and the last one has finally come out. I hope they don't make any more. Like, I really hope they don't make any more. But th this was very good, and I, I just loved what they did with it. I think Tom Hanks really delivered an amazing performance, as well as uh, everyone else. Yeah, but the voice cast was amazing, and they added a lot to this film. And I think, like, the Key and Peele, for example, being... Uh, it was it was great. Their characters were hilarious. It was Forky was amazing. I really did not like Forky in the ad campaign. I was like, oh my god, this is going to be awful. But Forky was like a really good character, so you guys do not have to worry about this movie. Trust me, it is good. It is, um, it may not be the ending that some people want or that everyone hoped for or that everyone even wanted to like have. Some people maybe did not want the extra ending. I didn't, um, but I'm glad I saw the movie and I feel really satisfied with what I got out of it and that I go I'm really glad that I got to go on another like one last adventure with all of these characters because I love them so much and I grew up with them and they're so close to my heart and it's just nice to to spend time with um with characters that you love so much so 
If you really want like a great family movie or just a movie that you can like relax while watching, I highly recommend Toy Story 4. It's so cute, it's so entertaining, and it had really good writing. Like really, really good writing. Um, the way they opened and closed the movie with a really nice bookend, it was just really good. So, I, again, I recommend seeing this movie, um, and I hope you guys do. So, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Toy Story 4. Are you glad they made it? Are you upset about it? And are you going to see it, or have you seen it? And if so, what are your thoughts? But try to keep spoilers out of the comments down below, um, and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you enjoyed toy story 4 and um subscribe if you want to see more of my coverage from other disney and pixar movies going forward like onward you can check out my trailer reaction for that the lion king the next disney movie no that's not the next disney movie coming out if you count if you count uh marvel properties uh spider-man home far from home is the next disney movie coming out but uh, movies more similar to Toy Story 4. The Lion King is coming out this summer and then Onward is the next Pixar movie coming out. So it's a lot of fun. There's a lot going forward and there's a lot to talk about. So subscribe if you want to see all of that and if you want to see all the Stranger Things stuff that I'm not okay about. Uh, not okay, like I'm not okay because I'm freaking out about it. That's what I mean. So yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Until then, uh, have a good day everyone. Bye. <laughs>